Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to our live simulation demo which is a new sample for the both light and the ultimate utility AI package that we have. It's a uh, kind of seems like live simulation without user input. The ultimate one will be released soon which much, with much more actions and much more entities and objects. This agent decided to sleep alone in a two bed room and now that he's done sleeping let's get a good angle he's watching tv let's see the life from the angle of his eyes as you can see it's doing different actions just going to the bathroom, eating, sleeping, watching TV and doing the same over and over and over again until his miserable life ends. This is the world that we got. The ultimate sample will have more agents and this one will be improved. Uh, as you can see, there are lots of models for prototyping use and we have lots of built-in actions. This sample only has less than 20 lines of custom code. Basically, the way that the sample works is that it uses blackboards heavily. Each agent has some attributes uh, of the type float. Hunger, which is related to food, energy, which is related to sleep, bladder, which is related to going to the bathroom, and entertainment, which is for watching TV. It also needs to know where its objects are. This sample uses game object key types in the blackboard, and the only code that we have on the agent, which is custom and is not a built-in action or consideration, is this. This basically asks you to attach the bed, refrigerator, and a TV and bathroom that the agent uses. And then, in its awake, gets its blackboard and sets those objects and also sets the uh, like float attributes of its like motivations and needs to random values so all of them don't start doing the same thing and it also in its start sets the value of like how fast the agent goes hungry or goes sleepy to a specific value per agent so they behave uniquely and then unefficiently but easily in update update all of updates all of the blackboard uh, needs uh, we could do this once per second or something like that or, or at least five times per second to increase performance since we are setting it in a blackboard and not just a float uh, But that's fine for the sample and we want it to be easy to understand the agent other than the blackboard of course needs to use utility AI to derive its behavior it has a brain component with this behavior attached and five once Thinking per five seconds is good enough for us, as you can see we set there. It has four actions for moving toward the desired objects, like move to bed, and four others for sleeping, eating, peeing, and uh, entertainment. I wonder if I should rename this to technique. Uh, basically, the movement actions just move toward the blackboard keys game objects. You put like the key here and Assuming that you assign the correct object to the bed key of that game object in the blackboard, this will move toward it. Uh, the other move actions, their only difference is the key name. And as you can see, even watching TV is just a move action toward the key name. All of these could change the blackboard key uh, as well. And they, um, sorry, this is the move to TV. But all of these could change a blackboard key but do not need to none of the move actions change the value of any blackboard key but the main actions they do not do anything they actually are using the base uh, action that we have uh, as you can see the class name here it's just blackboard uh, action base they do not do anything the only thing that they do is that they change a blackboard key over time like, for example, this one increases it by 0 0.05 and 
If this is checked, then it multiplies by delta time, so 0 0.05 per second. 20 second. It takes 20 seconds for it to become full. In, now, let's take a look at the considerations which allow us to score these actions. The action for moving to bed should score high when you are far away from bed but, but sleepy. This built-in consideration checks a flat float blackboard key. We set the range from 0 to 0 0.8, so values greater than 0 0.8 will be considered as 0 0.8, and values smaller than 0 will be considered 0, and the stuff between these will be normalized to 0 to 1, and this curve says, okay, if 0, then return 0, and if 0 0.8, return 1. And the slope is like how you want the score change be calculated so uh, up to a good amount of time it will still return something near zero but suddenly it doesn't matter if you are like 50% uh, sleepy or 70% sleepy it shouldn't score that high but we want the reverse of this so we check the inverse checkbox so when the sleepiness like the energy is near zero it returns a, the curve returns something near zero but the inverse inverses it to 1 minus the value, so it will be near 1 here. Basically, you should inverse the curve in your head to see how, how it will look. We could not check this box and instead make a curve, which near 0 had a score of about 1, and near 1 had a score of about 0. And as you can see, this action never scores. Uh, very high values. So basically the distance consideration and also the valid path consideration. This one is binary. The binary one, which is like, do we have a path to bed if yes returns one? If no returns, it returns zero. So the values in the middle of the curve do not matter, basically just the beginning and the end because it will only return either zero as a score or one. And the score is feeded to the curves and it never returns 0 0.5, for example. So here never gets evaluated. The distance is the most complicated one. We only care about distances up to 10 meters. So after 10 meters, we consider 10. And uh, the further away from the bed we are, from the target we are basically, which uh, we choose by this key name. So th this consideration is basically get the distance to a game object based on its blackboard key. We will return a high score as close as we are to 10 and as close as we are to zero, we'll return a low score. And this is good because when we are close to zero, we want sleep to get a higher score than move to bed. And sleep basically changes how sleepy you are, which is similar to the one in move to bed exactly. And also the other consideration is which it checks is that the distance to bed, and this is a bit more tricky because it only considers distances between 0 0.4 meters and 0 0.5 meters meaningful. So higher than 0 0.5, it's too far away. And lower than 0 0.4, it's uh, close enough, definitely close enough. So for 0 0.4, it returns, it returns 0, which gets inverted to 1. And for 0 0.5, it returns 1, which it return, gets inverted to 0. And so somewhere less than 0 0.5 meters, this will score higher than the actual, uh, basically, action uh, actual like move to bed action uh, and higher than 0 0.5 meters it will never score anything higher than zero because this consideration will return a zero now what did we do so this consideration doesn't return a too high value when it's close again the distance consideration when you're too close to zero has a low score. So when you're getting closer to the bed, move to bed will score something lower. And mm, instead sleep, because of its different curve for the same distance consideration, mm, it returns a value like near one. Keep in mind that this is inverted. Both are using the same consideration class. So, uh, and all of these consideration classes are built in we have too many and we will describe them in another video but we have a list of considerations to check blackboard keys check patterns check like uh, 
distances to targets and uh, other things. And also, same is true about actions. We have actions to move based on blackboards or based on nav mesh agents. Uh, we are, in this case, using a new movement component that we have, which is called nav mesh based AI movement. We could use character controller based AI movement, but then it could not detect paths and move on them. And then uh, the move to actions use like whatever of these component types we have because we have an interface which says like eye movement component and then anything which implements that can be attached to the object and our movement actions will automatically use that one so that's how this new sample is created and of course to understand the scoring more and to modify it you can always open the debugger, select one of the agents and see which action is selected and why. And also keep in mind that whenever a consideration scores zero, the rest of the considerations wouldn't get considered because like they get multiplied by each other and anything multiplied by zero is zero. We hope you enjoy it and have lots of fun both playing with the package and with this and for the next release we'll have a much more complex and much more vibrant sample in the same world which you can test and use and have fun with and I could do something interesting let's not keep these guys alone let's give them a few family members I'm sure it will look awful because they will try to use the same bathroom and same bed and they cannot like there's probably come weird situations with two which two agents are trying to use the bathroom at the same time and things like that but who cares these are just capsules you're free to assign any gender you want to them so these are not like this doesn't look good as as expected so yeah let's see what goes on in the other houses okay they seem to basically want to do the same thing most of the times but not always so sometimes some of them go to sleep together and some others like are watching tv but this is easily to solve if you want to solve it like you will have multiple slots on the couch and multiple slots on a bed or define the bed as two beds and then assign different keys basically mm, two agents shouldn't share the same bed uh, game object so you just create two empty game objects on the bed and then assign them to the agent as the bed and then it will look correct and work correct and i understand that this doesn't have animations but that never was the point of the sample so it's fine let's watch some patients from their own viewpoint let's, let's go in from the windows just for fun and let's say i want to go to the which room should we go into let's say you know, want to watch tv with the agent this one tv is like doesn't have any oh, so you can just move around here oh, why this one is on the air We have lots of trees here and cars and other things which we'll use. Let's take another look at one of the houses and then finish the video. Let's watch TV with this guy. It's fun. Good.